Hi everyone, it's Chris. Are you looking at the symptoms or the true cause of the real issue? Now think about the difference between a symptom and a cause. Like for example, let's just say that your uh, sinuses are congested or you have the sniffles or a runny nose, for example. Now you can treat those symptoms with medication that may provide a short-term fix. It happens a lot. However, what if you keep having the same issue and keep taking the same meds and perhaps the underlying cause is just simply not being addressed or being ignored? Now, maybe there's an allergy of some sort or maybe there's something that you're eating you shouldn't. Who knows what it is? Or a salesperson has been diagnosed with a ton, a, I mean a ton of difficulty closing new business. And the prescription prescribed is closing skills training. Now, what if the cause of the closing issue is either poor qualification early on, uh, or perhaps just not identifying what the ideal client should look like and going after them? The list can go on of, of causes. Now, the list of symptoms versus the real issue can apply to so many different examples, as you can imagine. So reflect for a moment on your sales process. Are you addressing the symptoms only keeping it surface level when you're with a prospect? Or are you truly creating the atmosphere that allows you to help the prospect diagnose their own pains and issues when you're with them? Through, you know, obviously the questions you ask. Now, it's definitely easier to keep it surface level, no doubt about it. <laughs> so a quick suggestion, take a closer look at your pipeline, close look and audit two or three of your qualified stage prospects and determine if you truly identify the root causes or are you simply addressing the symptoms?